Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips and tricks for the latest animation softwares and I've got a really good one for you guys today. Um, Real Illusion have really gone and done it with this, they've really outdone themselves. They've got this amazing new feature called the animation layer guys and it just gives you so much endless possibilities. So without, without doing too much talking, let's just get straight into the tutorial. Right, so if you load up a character, um, I've got this tough looking guy loaded up so we'll we'll load up our character and then what we want to do is just add a, a really quick basic motion on that character so if, if we just go to motion puppet and uh, what we'll add is let's add a mood and let's maybe add cheerful okay so I'll just preview that all right brilliant so we'll just add that We'll record a few seconds of that, guys. Um, I mean, this animation layer is incredible, really game changing. You can just animate so many different layers without messing up um, the first motion that you put on. So I'll really show you that now. So we'll just record a bit more and then we'll hit stop. Cool, so we've got our motion recorded. Right, now usually what we do is, you know, if you wanted to say make some adjustments to the motion, you might, you know, um, go into your animation layer, the motion layer, um, say you'd want the hand maybe to start a bit down here and you drag that over and you know you'd hit play and the arms in a different spot and then you know say um, maybe here you'd want to kind of uh, change the position of that arm so that comes down gradually now what the animation layer does is it allows you to do all of these changes because now what, what, what we do effectively, okay, say we then wanted to, you know, go here and do something else, wanted the arm to come back up. So now what we've done is we've effectively made all them changes, but what, what if we wanted to, um, what if we wanted to kind of go back to this point and actually not have the arm come down here, but we're about three or four places in, how would we do that? you're in a bit of a tight spot now because you're going to have to kind of undo everything and, you know, go back to your beginning. And, you know, before you know it, it just gets messy, frustrating, and, you know, you just want to give up. So I'm going to show you how you can do all this really easily and not actually mess up this motion. So you won't actually add anything to this motion down here. And that is by using the animation layers. So if we just undo everything we've just done, or if I just come down here, click on this tab and then just click on motions turned on brilliant so I'll just open up the motion panel and that will bring your motion layer so you'll see down here is all the um, the motions that we just kind of uh, changed so we can just delete them and if we delete them you'll see that will take us back to our original motion that that was going on now what we can do here go into window open up the animation layer mine's already open and that will pop up here now this is amazing guys. The base motion here, this is this motion. So you don't want to you don't want to mess with that. This is that this is that motion we've just put on the timeline. And that will show up there. Now the base layer, this is now the new layer of motion that you're going to put onto that character. So you click on that and you can change the color just to kind of identify as a different color. So when you click on base motion and we um usually it does show up red um let me just click on that. Yeah, so brilliant. You can see now there's no keyframes there. But if we go back onto base motion, you can see all these keyframes. And these keyframes are of that motion puppet that we just put on. So that is all those keyframes, keyframe in this motion here. Now, if we click on our base layer, what we can effectively do is what I just done. Uh, open up your edit motion layer. And now... Say we go to here in the timeline, but we want the arm to, you know, come a bit more over here. That's now been put in. So you can see from the very beginning, the arm stays in that position. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo that. And I'm going to show you the right way to do it now. So we've got the base layer selected. What we want to do is where we want the motion to begin changing. So if, if at this point we want this arm to start coming down to here, what we're going to do is just before this point, we're going to go a few frames back and then we're going to go over to this edit motion layer and we're going to hit set key. All right. So now we've set a key, that keyframe 
ensures that anything up to that point is going to do what's been recorded already. And anything after that point, we're going to now add the change that we wanted to add. So we'll drag it a bit in front and then we'll add that change, the arm coming out here. And now if we go back, we'll see that at this point, the arm stays in the same position and only at the point after we hit set key and then we made the change, that is where the change comes in. So just watch that back and then we see the arm go down there. Now that might be a bit too fast and look a bit funny. So we're just gonna drag that a bit over to the right and give that a little bit more ease in time and then you'll see that arm go to there. So that is just an example of how we can now use that. Now, what we what we can also do is if we don't like that, we can simply turn that off and that hasn't messed up any of this motion here. As you can see, it goes straight back to the same motion. So we'll leave that on and then say we wanted the arm to come back up. It goes down and then we wanted it to come back up here. We can simply go up here to this section click add a new layer and that will add a new layer. And then you can just type that arm raising and that is your new layer. Now we can come back here. As you can see, the keyframes are gone. So we can see when the arm comes down, we can hit set key and then we go a few frames ahead and then we can bring that arm back up to its original position. So and then if we go play back, we'll see that should work perfectly. The arm should come down and then it should go back up. Perfect. So that is how amazing the motion layer is. And that, say for example, we wanted to see what it would look like with this motion taken out that we just added. We can just turn that off, hit play, and we can see that it doesn't go down anymore. And the arm in fact does something different completely. So that is how amazing it is just to get these different motions that you've created yourself and you know, they're completely different to the motion that we see in um, the motion puppet. And you know, it's a fantastic tool because we can keep adding to that. Um, so we'll just turn that one back on. And then what we can do is we can just simply add another one and um, we can name that uh, arm two. And then we can again add, add some motion into that. So we've got here, arm goes up, it comes out, it goes back up. And then maybe here we'd want to have the arm coming back down. So we'll just set the key. Remember, always very important to set that key before you add the motion. So it can remember the motion up until the point you want the motion to change. Always have to set a key. That's so important, guys. And then we'll just drag that a bit in front. And then we'll just make the arm, you know, come down again to here. And we'll just give that a bit of space in front. We'll drag that over. And if we just play that back arm goes up and then it comes back down there. So, you know, really amazing guys. Um, you know, this is a new feature. This wasn't in iClone 7, um, but you can just see how powerful that is. Um, you know, if you don't like that last motion, you just turn that off and that takes you back to the normal one. And if you wanted to go back to kind of the, the first ever motion, you just turn them all off and we're straight back to where we started. So that is amazing feature guys. You know, before you'd really get in a kind of pickle um, you know, editing, editing loads of different motions in and not knowing how to kind of get back to, you know, earlier steps if you wanted to. This is just phenomenal, guys, this tool. And, you know, we can do that for, you know, all different parts of the body. If we add that in for the head and say at this point, we'll set a key because we set the key at the point where we want it to make the changes in the motion. So you always want to remember that. We'll set the key and we'll go a few stops ahead and then we'll just make the head look up in the air. And you know, amazing way to just add your own motions, add some, you know, little subtle changes that then make it your own configuration. And if we hit playback, you just see that head go up now. And then at this point here, uh, we want it to come down. So, you know, we always remember to set the key because we got the head going up here and we want it to stay up there for as long as you want. And then when you want it to start coming down, you remember to set the key first. And then after that, you bring the head down. And that would then be um, some lovely motion that you've added. So we'll just watch that back. Head goes up, head comes down. Brilliant, brilliant tool, guys. You can see here, I've added uh, one, two, three, four additional motions and if we just turn them all back on 
they'll all be you know recorded ready to play out so it's just an amazing tool guys and you know it's not as smooth yet but you can really clean that up after but right now it's just to show you some really cool ways that you can add motion with the animation layer and not affect the initial motion that's put on so we'll try this again with a whole different motion because i don't know if this was the best one to use with the arms kind of going up and down in the air and nothing else really going on so we'll try the whole thing again and we'll start with a whole different motion and uh let's use the pressed see how that looks okay brilliant let's try this one and we'll really see how we can you know just start to make this already already kind of pre-recorded motion a little bit more customized and a little bit more our own um you know it's a great tool really amazing tool the animation layer um you know kudos to real illusion uh they've done a fantastic job with that so we'll just hit stop and we'll go back to the beginning of the timeline and again we'll go up to our anima animation layer remember guys um that's in the window and then animation layer just turn that on and that will show up over here and um just again um you know we're going to base layer so this is our first layer and we'll go here the arms go down and then maybe at this point when that arm comes up we want that arm to do something so let's turn on the animation layer you can turn that on by pressing the number three on your keyboard we'll just turn that on and remember we'll click on the arm we want that to do something so we just hit set key because we want to keep all of that pre-built motion we want all of that the same and then it's only at this point we want to make the change and we'll go a few frames ahead and then we'll just make that arm come up and sit here and if we watch that back great way to just add custom motion and then you know amazing amazing tool guys and when it um, another great feature is as you can see here the hand comes up and the axe goes through the mesh so just before it goes through you can come back here and you can actually hit reset and that'll just take you back to your first motion so if we press play the hand will come up before the axe goes through the head you can see that the arm comes back down into the original motion so that's just a really cool way as well you know to go back to the original motion that you had um and you know you've really started to build your own custom motion in and um you know the arm goes in through the body here so maybe at this point we'll just hit set key because now we've reset all the motion to the beginning so we'll set a new key and we'll move it a few frames ahead and we'll just move that arm back out just to stop that hitting the body we'll get that out a little bit and we'll just press play and now the arm okay so it still goes through the body so we'll just drag that a bit over drag that a bit over and now it shouldn't go through as you can see so you know really really amazing amazing feature that's the animation layer and you know you can see here now we've completely customized that motion um if i turn that off and go back to the beginning we'll see you know that's completely gone now and it's back to that first motion that we've had and you know this is just an amazing amazing tool guys because you don't you don't have to mess with any of this uh motion in the puppet clip and start to get really confused you can just really do it um and you know build build layer upon layer upon layer and you know anything you're not happy with you can just turn it straight off and you know amazing tool so we'll just add another one um we'll call that number one just to move speedy and here we'll change say the head we'll make the head instead of it looking down into the hand we'll just make that come up a bit so we'll go here we'll set key and after that we'll just bring that head up a tad okay not that we want the head And if we play that back, now the head will come up. And you know, if you didn't like it, you could just turn that straight off and that will go back to the original motion. This is amazing, guys. Honestly, you can you spend all day here just creating some amazing custom motion from you know pre-built templates and you can get some wonderful, wonderful stuff. And um, you know, really hope that helps and hopes that I hope I kind of made it. Um, quite understandable how to use that 
you can go more in depth and, you know, start coming down into here and, you know, messing around with the individual um, components of what you've done. But, you know, that, that can get quite technical and, you know, only if you need to, I'd, I'd kind of play around with that. Um, this was just a quick tutorial just to show you how simple this tool is, guys, to add, add different animation layers to your already kind of already built motion that's on the uh, character. And, you know, it's just a great tool. And I really hope it helps some of you guys out there to, you know, get really creative because, you know, there's no limits with this. There's really no limits with what you can do and, you know, how you can change everything. Um, let me delete that. And, you know, there's really no limits, as you can see, um, you know, just no limits to some of the stuff that you can do. And I really hope this tutorial helps, guys. I really hope it helps you get creative and helps you to understand how to use the animation layer. And, um, yeah, anything you think I've missed or anything you'd like to know, just drop me a, a comment and I'll get back to you straight away. But for now, happy animating and thank you very much. I'll see you again soon for another tutorial.